In this Android Studio tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a view pager too with a swipe view and a kind of indicator at the bottom that you can see as you swipe the page, it goes to that page number and it looks really good. And uh, yeah, let's get started immediately. The first thing we want to do is go to our gradle.build file and implement two dependencies. One's going to be the view pager two and one's going to be this circular indicator or a circle indicator. I will leave the links in the description so you can find them and copy them. Then we're gonna click on sync and we are going to wait for it to sync, but immediately after we can go to our activity main and we can start designing. So I'm just gonna copy and paste my previous XML because uh, it's actually very simple. And uh, I'll just show you what I did here. I made a relative layout, then I inserted this circle indicator with an ID of indicator, made the background blue, and then I added the view pager two widget with a ID of view pager two, and that's essentially it. And right after that, my uh, screen recorder didn't really do a good job here, so you can't see it, but I'm creating a new layout resource file and I named it item underscore page. And in here, we're actually gonna put all the views for our pages. So I copy and paste it again from my previous uh, project. And in here, I essentially had a relative view. I put a text view with the ID of TV title. I put another text view of TV about and an image view of IV image. And that's essentially all you need to do. You can design it however you like. Immediately after that, we are going to create a new class and we're gonna call it view page adapter. And sorry again, my screen recorder kind of failed here, but it's just a normal class, a Kotlin class, of course. And the first thing we're gonna do here is insert into our constructor a private var of title and make it a list of string. And then we are going to make another two of those, just copy and paste it. We're gonna do private var details, it's a list of string. And finally, private var images, which is gonna be a list of int. And this is going to extend recycler view dot adapter of type view pager adapter dot pager to view holder. And we are going to create this class right now. And remember to implement the members by going to view page adapter and right clicking and just clicking on implement members. And immediately after that, we can do our inner class, which is gonna be inner class pager to view holder. And that is gonna take item view as a parameter of type view. And we're gonna extend recycler view dot view holder with an item view inside. And inside here, we are going to create three items. One's gonna be value item title, which is gonna take our text view of item view, and we are going to refer to our XML TV title. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other two, for the image and the description. So one's gonna be item details, one's gonna be item image, and uh, one's gonna be of type image view, of course. And just insert your IDs from the XML. Then we're gonna add an initializer, which is gonna take item image, and we're gonna set an on-click listener. So essentially you can change this to whatever you want on each page, and this is just gonna make things clickable on each page, depending on which page you are on. And uh, I just wrote, you clicked on item number dollar sign position plus one, so you can get the accurate page. Otherwise it'll be one page minus, because everything starts in at zero when you code, of course. But then we will go to our on-create uh, on view holder, and inside here, we're just gonna return our page two view holder, and we're gonna take the layout inflator from parent.context and inflate our item page layout that we created earlier. And then we're gonna set a parent and attach to root to false as always. For get item count, we're just gonna return title.size, and for our on bind view holder, we're gonna write holder.itemTitle.text, and we are going to equal it to title at the position. And we're gonna do the same thing for item details and for image view, or for, it, uh, for image, for item.image. And uh, item image is gonna be slightly different because it's gonna say set image resource at image at position. And here I just tidied it up, nothing really changed. But immediately after we can go to our main activity file and we are going to create three lists, uh, mutable lists. I always prefer mutable lists, but you can use essentially any list you like. And inside here, I just created uh, three variables, one title list, description list, and images list. Just note that mutable list of images is gonna be of type int. Then we are gonna create a private function down here. It's gonna take title, a description, and an image. Two are gonna be of type string, and the image is gonna be of type int. And immediately under, we will write title list dot add title, description list dot description, and image list dot add image. And we're gonna create another function to create dummy data, which is gonna be called private function post a list, just like in our recycler view tutorial. And it's gonna be for i in one to five, we're gonna to add to list these dummy details, which is just gonna take i for each item. 
and uh, just puts a random picture there. You all have this, it's r.mipmap.ic launcher. And up here, we're gonna write view underscore pager two, which is our view pager from our main activity XML. And we're gonna equal it to view pager adapter. And we're gonna enter these three lists. And then we're gonna write uh, view underscore pager two orientation. This is just to show you in case you want to change it to vertical that you can. It's not necessary to write it because by default it's on horizontal. And down here, we're gonna create an indicator and cast it to circle indicator three. And then we're gonna type that indicator and set the view pager to view underscore pager two. And this is gonna take the total amount of pages and add it to the bottom. So you don't really have to worry about that later. And it was a very easy dependency to implement. Uh, it saved me a lot of trouble from going and making this bottom part all by myself. But as you can see, this is the final result. I could have done a better job with the color scheme, but that's up to you. I'm just here to show you the coding behind it. It's up to you to decorate it. But there's one more thing I want to show you, and this is to create uh, fake swipes. Uh, so I just kept it simple by doing view underscore pager two dot apply. I created this method. At the moment, when you start the program, it will uh, make a dummy swipe. So I created an extra button and I inserted it. I inserted it on my main activity XML and I inserted this method inside the button click. So now every time you click on this button, it creates a fake swipe and you can put a looper or whatever you want just to simulate it. But that's just something extra. You don't really need to know it, but it could be useful in the future. You never know. But uh, yeah, that's actually all there is to this tutorial. I hope it helped. I hope it was uh, not too confusing. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, uh, yeah, leave some suggestions. I will make a video about them possibly or I'll add it to the list at least. And uh, yeah, that's all. I'll see you in another video.